Good morning, and welcome to day 11 of John and Caitlin's hike on the PCT. It was a nice night last night, a little cooler, probably hmm, maybe low 40s right now. And it's kind of funny because all the people from Southern California who were making fun of us for suffering in the heat. This is our advantage here, like this morning. We ran into a guy who's like, oh, I'm just freezing. He was all bundled up. He slept in his in his um, puffy jacket last night. And I'm like, heck no. I was sleeping in my underwear as warm as can be. Like, low 40s? Man, we're golfing in Wisconsin. This is our, this is our sweet spot. So we're going to really enjoy the walk in this morning until it heats up. Let's see if I can show you guys this. There are parts of the trail where it's like you're walking on the infield of a baseball diamond. It's this little crushed stone. I wonder if this is what they make infields out of. It looks like the same stuff and it's just flat and smooth and awesome. And let me show you like, this is where it's coming from. Like this rock formation. You can see it's kind of um, breaking off there and then goes down here and then gets crushed up as people walk on it. But really, really like this surface for walking. It's kind of what we're looking at today. Some neat rock formations or piles of rocks down there. We're over 5,000 feet right now, I believe. We just stopped at a place called Mike's Place for water. They had some gigantic water tanks there they kind of look like short metal silos we filled up got five liters because the next carry is about 20 miles and it includes overnight dry camping tonight had a great time taking our siesta there like whole whole group of people like 10 12 people were there just relaxing people were playing chess telling stories it was a pretty good time now I'm gonna try to do eight more miles to a campsite that Callan identified. It's warm with a cool breeze, but I think we should be able to do it. All right, this is another one that mom's not gonna to be too happy about, but this is pretty sheer on the right side here. I'm gonna watch where I'm going myself here. Yeah, you don't want to fall down there. It's uh, morning of day 12, but I'm going to do a quick wrap up for day 11. Last night we ended up doing 19.3 miles. We got into camp pretty late because we slowed way down. Callan was having some issues with his feet were hurting and He's got some blisters going too, so we're going to be treating those with Glide and uh, making sure that they don't get worse. And we might have to reduce our mileage a bit in the next few days also. Don't want to overdo it. We were just exhausted last night. We just hit the tent and were immediately asleep. Well, welcome to day 12 of John and Callan's hike on the PCT. Some interesting things happening right now. One is, I am out of toilet paper, and I forgot to buy it at our last resupply. I have no idea how I forgot that. It wasn't on the list. So, Catlin does have toilet paper. And we are three days from our next resupply, so you would not believe the horse trading and bargaining that's going on. He has taken my best dinner, 
he is making me pack his used toilet paper to the next garbage area and I'm sure if things get desperate enough there may be other demands made as well so this is a serious lesson learned on my part now hold the bidet comments there's no need for those I know all about the bidet op option I'm just gonna say right now it's not the right option for me there are plenty of people out here that use that option and uh, um, I'm sure it's fine for them but not for me so anyways that's gonna be an interesting thing to see how that plays out hopefully we can minimize our use of TP over the next few days because if he runs out oh boy then we're then we're in real big trouble all those candy bar wrappers in my garbage are gonna start looking appealing maybe when we get lunch at Paradise Valley Cafe I can grab a few extra napkins yeah there we go there's been a small development in my toilet paper trading saga Turns out Callan is out of breakfast. How oh, the tables have turned. No, they haven't. <laughs> so I'll be trading breakfast bars for pieces of toilet paper. Oh yeah. Just had our afternoon siesta. Just before four o'clock right now it was rough getting to the water source it was only like 11 miles but it took everything we had we had to take multiple breaks Callum wasn't feeling the best so we took an extra long break there because we're not going to push it but um whew, this is the hottest day yet i think and now we have about six and a half miles to go to get to paradise valley cafe where our resupply is and where they have burgers. So we're gonna pick up three days worth of food we shipped there, and our micro spikes are there, along with some treats we threw in. And uh, oh man, a burger sounds so good. We got about three hours, I guess, to do the six miles before they can, before I have to worry about them closing. So we gotta hope it a little bit, but. So that last break where we took our siesta was just another example of where we just had a great time chatting with all the people that were there. So many great people here. And that's probably one of my favorite parts about the trip. It's just the awesome, awesome people that you meet. And I really want to share some of them with you guys. But I've kind of been a little hesitant to broach the subject and maybe give it some more time. And once we get to know each other a little bit better, because a lot of people just aren't comfortable being on camera and being out on YouTube for the public to see and I totally totally get that and respect that so for now I've been restricting our video footage to me and Callan so that's just a little bit on that topic We have about a dozen hikers who were all hanging out at the water place and about a six and a half mile hike down to get hamburgers and people kind of just left here and there but nice crew all waiting to get down there and chow down well then we find out that it closed at 3 and it's way past that we won't be there till 6 30 so you have a whole bunch of people who instead of having a, the best burger on trail are going to be having Mountain House or some other stuff like that. So we're a little bit sad about that. So right now I'm in the back of the Paradise Valley Cafe and uh, got people setting up tents back here. Here's mine partially set up right here. Callan's right there and then some other folks over there. And so we had all these hikers that were here, everybody just starving. There's like a dozen of us. And so we got this crazy idea. All right, I'm gonna look on Facebook for uh, a local trail angel 
so I found one and one of the ladies said I'll call so she called and the ladies the trail angel is going to bring out a bunch of pizza and soda for us so what turned out what what started out as a difficult situation is going to turn out to be like just a great night but these people are so amazing I I just can't even explain like how cool the people are that are out here hiking the PCT they're just awesome so we're gonna have a, an, a fun night tonight there is access to water the bathrooms are closed but that's okay and then tomorrow we're gonna enjoy huge breakfasts in the morning but so what was a big disappointment turned into a great victory and the pizza should be here in a while and I can't wait all right wrapping up day 12 here what an incredible incredible day so we get a hold of Lorraine Lorraine shows up about an hour later with six large pizzas a 12 pack of beer a bunch of soda a bunch of candy bars and so we had a bunch of money and we slipped it in her car when she wasn't looking so then Lorraine finds the money and comes back and throws it back on her table and says no I'm not accepting this, this is all on me the utter kindness of strangers and thank you Lorraine thank you thank you from the bottom of all of our hearts it was such an incredible act of kindness for 12 poor hikers who were stranded here without the dinner we were hoping to buy and it ended up being the best night we all hung out we ate pizza drank some soda and just stuffed our faces and it was just awesome absolutely awesome so thank you so much Lorraine and because of this I also got my trail name tonight because I was the one that was able to locate the trail angel my trail name is now hookup so I know that doesn't sound good to my wife when your husband's on the road and gets the trail name of hookup but it's because I found pizza that's why <laughs> so thanks guys good night I'm stuffed I'm gonna head off to bed tomorrow we're going to pick up our resupply right here at Paradise Valley Cafe We've got our micro spikes and a three-day resupply. And then after breakfast, we're going to head out and start our way up Mount San Jacinto. Snow is supposed to be pretty crazy up there yet. And uh, we're looking forward to getting our micro spikes on and walking through some snow. So talk to you later. Love you, love you everybody at home.